Hi, it's Zach from English Town, and this is English with Foreigners. Now the Vietnamese people, they love to watch football, and I know you can't wait to see the men's final game in the C game between Vietnam and Indonesia. And that's the reason why I'm here today, to tell you about some new phrases on how to express this amazing sport. Let's get started. Okay guys, let's start with the first one. You've probably heard this before if you're a football fan. When somebody yells, off the crossbar, what does that mean? Well, let me explain. Basically, when somebody's trying to do a goal and they shoot, and it hits one of these post lines, either vertical or horizontal, when it gets deflected, basically, that's an off the crossbar situation. Suppose I'm an attacker with the ball, and I'm heading my way to the other team's goal. If I'm on the other side, and one of my teammates is ahead of me, if I were to pass them the ball, and they reached it, that would be an offside situation. Now be careful, because it happens many times. Guess what that's called? A headed shot, pretty simple. In the Vietnam versus Indonesia game, previously, where Vietnam dominated Indonesia, one of those shots led by Indonesia was a headed shot. Remember, it's useful. When we say putting 11 men behind the ball, what is that? Well, imagine a situation where a team wants to have a draw situation or they've already scored and they want to keep that winning position. Well, the best way to do that is to keep your team together, keep them from attacking, waste the time by staying behind. And that is what teams would usually do. <laughs> Vietnam was able to hammer the game home in the stoppage time. The stoppage time, the time that we accumulate after all the stoppings during a game. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I also hope that you're able to use these new phrases and vocabulary words that we learned today. Chat it up with your friends in upcoming events and encourage the great Vietnamese team fighting Vietnam. Colin.